No, I was just, you know, when you play hard and you, bring, when you get into the atmosphere of the game with the right intensity and fear factor, good things happen. I love defensively, offensively. We were, for three quarters, we were a bear. That's how we had it. Hey, James, go far from 22 in that third quarter. He was pretty good. I mean, some of you might want to check your tweets at the halftime. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what y'all tweeted out, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's playing pretty good. Mike, I think when you were uh, – Hired, you, you mentioned you would love to see this team. You thought this team could have a 50 point quarter and then I mean, second most points in one quarter in playoff history. What's it like being in that? You, you know how important this game is to swing the series and it all clicks at once for, for this offense. Well, first of all, it's a good time to do it. Uh, we've been talking about it for two years putting the 50 piece up, and, and that's just because you know our guys are playing. You know, but it starts on the other end. It just starts with the intensity and the right spirit and everything. We got enough shooters, and things will eventually go in. And again, you know, basketball is a little bit like a like a thermostat. You know, we were, we were down in the twenties shooting. Well, pretty soon we're going to be up in the forties. That's and we still haven't got there, but we can get there because um, it all usually evens out as long as your your heart and soul and everything is cool. Mike, we see what uh, James and Chris are able to do out of the pick and roll, obviously making plays for others and finishing. Can you talk a little bit about what the screeners, how they create more separation for those guys in the second half as opposed to the first half? Quentin well, you know, I, I thought even in the first half we had our we had our chances. We just didn't play well in the first half. Well, we, we were a little whatever. We just didn't make shots. We had some opportunities and still put 50 points on. Uh, but I thought, you know, the second half everything just clicked. You know, and Eric had a really good game. Eric's important to us. And uh, in the second half, that third quarter, he, would, he was in transition. We got a transition mode. We got a little bit more pace to the game. There's just a lot of little things that we've been talking about. And, um, <coughs> the players did, it, obviously. And, you know, you, you're talking about two great point guards that manufactures everything. It's not, you know, we're not giving them a lot of space. They don't need a lot of space. But, you know, we do a little, we do the same thing. And it happened, didn't work the other night, it worked tonight. You feel like you guys have your rhythm out? You know, I'm, I'm so afraid of my shadow. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I know that we got to keep this intense. It's not. I mean, obviously, it's three one. It's a big game for us, and now it started, and they got to come back and get us. But we need to defend home court. But we, more importantly, we need to we need to play like we did with our hair on fire. And I thought we did the whole first three quarters. How key was that run at the end of the second quarter and leading up to that big third quarter you guys had? Good. Um, you know, and we did it on the defensive end, I thought. I, I thought that we gave them the first half. We just talked about transition. I think they had 13 points in the first half. And they were struggling against our half-court defense, but if we didn't get back or build a wall and all that stuff, they were getting too many easy buckets. And, and so we really stressed that at halftime. And I thought our guys in the third quarter did that, got some more stops, got out, and obviously just made shots. Mike, when you talk about um, your offense finding its level, making its shots, did you also kind of look at the 15 threes they made in game three and think that there might be a chance for that to level up too, so not to do too many different things defensively? Yeah, no, we, you know, uh, everything that we thought that we didn't do defensively was because we didn't get make them fill us, get into them, build a shell, get back on teams. All the little fundamentals we just didn't do. Uh, they're a good offensive team, so you got to, you make a little mistake or you don't have the right intensity. It's like, you know, Belize, we let him out there. If you don't get on, he's going to make a shot. So it's all about the uh, having your spirit and your intensity right and getting in the atmosphere of the playoff. And I thought today was probably the best that we did. We did a little bit in the second game, but today was a lot more consistent, which is what we need going forward. And Mike, uh, James said yesterday that he didn't think it was up for, to him and Chris to always lead the way, but it was important for them to keep everybody else involved and kind of set the tone. It's, how do you think about that? And is that kind of what that third quarter was, those two guys? Well, a lot of guys do a lot of things. And, uh, you know, we have different guys set tones on defense, different guys set tones getting rebounds, different guys have to set tone getting back. You know, right, they can't do everything. You know, I couldn't make a joke. Because I don't care, man. I love James and Chris. But they set the tone of the world the paychecks, right? <laughs> They're first in line there. So, but, you, but he's right. I mean, it's everybody. It's collective, and then you just saw their brilliance is what they, what they do. But you know, PJ is so important to us, and how he shows he can shut people down, takes charges, and when his spirit's right and, and he's not worried about his shot. Not not told us that PJ. 
how many shots do you think you'll miss you know, next game? Let's say you don't make a shot. What well, you miss five shots? We, we miss 50 as a team, so that five is so important that, that we worry about. We don't worry about it. Miss your five shots, play defense, get the charges, get the rebounds, be a bear out there, and then, then we win the game. So who cares if you make shots or not? And that's the kind of attitude we got to have. It doesn't matter if you make shots. Uh, we eventually will. He will. But that's not what wins it. You know, he'll win or lose that way. I don't think. Mike, did it feel like those 12 third, third quarter minutes just kind of changed the complexion of the entire series? Well, it could. We, we better, I mean, we have an opportunity for it to be changed, and we just got to, you know, they're going to come at us again, and we're going to have to play. We have to play with the same type of intensity, but obviously I like where we're sitting, but that doesn't, you know, I've been here before, and I don't know that. So we're going to have to play. We'll get ready for Wednesday. Is that ready Wednesday? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.